Hi guys, welcome to another app of the week. This episode we've actually made some improvements and the app for today is Evernote. This app is very useful and I think you guys will find it very useful too. I'm actually not going to be using my Android phone for this tutorial because the last time it was really hard to see what I was doing. So I've actually figured out how to use an Android emulator to make sure that you guys see what I'm doing. Let's check out Evernote. All right, guys, be patient with me here as this emulator takes a little bit to load since it's not an actual phone. All right. I already have the Evernote app put on my canvas, so I'm just going to head over. If you haven't downloaded it yet, I'd, you need to do so in the App Market or the Google Play Store. Now what you want to do when it opens is you'll need to create an account. It is free so you don't have to worry about paying anything or anything like that. Now I've already created an account so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in real quick. And this is what it will look like when the app first opens up. The interface looks a little bit confusing at first, but it's really not that bad after you get the hang of it. First thing we're going to do is we are going to create a note. If you just click the new note button on the top left, where you can do the slide over. There's another button over there which will let you create a note. So I'm just going to create a new note here that says groceries. If you don't give it a title, it'll automatically title it the first word in the note. So now if I go back and look at my notebook, it will have my groceries note in there. The interface is pretty simple really. You have the new note button, the snapshot button, the attach file button, and audio along with notes, notebooks, places, and tags. What the tags does is when you use a tag in one of your notes it will categorize it so if you use the same tag in a couple notes, it'll put them in the same category. It's really good for finding your notes. For the places, uh, what Evernote does is it actually records your location when you make a note. I'm going to make a new note here so that we have a little bit of a variety so that I can show you some of the search functions of Evernote. Now I'm going to click this little eye down here which will let me sort my notes by different categories. I'm just going to go ahead and do name. As you can see it categorized them by their name and it'll have a, the letter above it so that you know where you're at in your search. And here's the search function. If you type any word in, it will find that keyword in your notes and show you results. And as you can see, it found my note. This light bulb up here is very good for starters. It'll walk you through just about anything. You can take a photo, record audio, make a list. There's widget functions, which can only be used on the phones and there's also sharing which is really awesome with this app what you can do is go to evernote.com on a computer and you can actually load your notes on a computer so the usefulness of that is if you're in a classroom or something and you take a note you can go straight back to your dorm room or your apartment get on the computer and open up that note and get to work If you hit your 
arrow next to your username at the top, there will be a tab for account info in settings and sign out. In the account info, really there's not much in there besides showing your email address or the option to upgrade to premium. And in the settings tab, there are a few options which I haven't really went through this stuff, but it's always good to check things out and make sure everything's okay with your functionality. As I said, it's not as complex as it seems. The biggest thing of Evernote is being able to share your notes with an online portfolio so that you can access it from anywhere. If you do end up using this app, I definitely recommend using the sharing function. As you can see, Evernote has a lot of capabilities and purposes, and I hope you can find out a good use for it. I've actually used it a lot in college and all of my studies. If you are a parent and you have a student in college or something, I would recommend this to your kid. I hope you all find Evernote useful. Well, I'll see you guys next time on App of the Week.